I didn't see you there. I'm Jordan Borden Jordan, the lumberjack. Oh, don't worry about that. You're you're fine, man. Flesh wound. Anyway, speaking of bloody subjects, let's cut to the chase. You might be wondering where I am right now. Well, I am standing in the middle of a coniferous forest. A coniferous forest is a forest characterized as a forest completely dominated by evergreens. You civilians, evergreens are known as pine trees. However, we woodsmen lovingly refer to them as conifers. Due to the harsh conditions of the coniferous wilderness, most of its already few inhabitants are forced to either hibernate or migrate south for the winter. You might be asking yourself just what this coniferous forest look like. Unlike their deciduous counterparts, which grow and shed their broad leaves once a year, conifers have pine needles, which can last up to 40 years. And during winter months, these pine needles obtain a thick layer of wax in order to retain moisture. Unfortunately, conifers also have a very weak root system, making them more prone to fall due to high winds and wet soil. Also different from traditional trees, which have fruits or nuts to bear their seeds, pine trees have pine cones. Not only are pine cones a favorite to beavers and squirrels, but they go great with peanut butter. While I'm eating, let's have a look at local resident Jesse the Ground Squirrel. Moose, reindeer, Siberian tiger, ground squirrel, and worst of all, the dreaded grizzly. What do all these animals have in common, you ask? They all live in the coniferous forest biome. But everyone knows there ain't no grizzly around here. As the largest land predator in the continental US and can easily kill a man with one swipe of his paw, it's easy to see why the grizzly can- That was close, but everyone knows it takes more than a grizzly to keep a good lumberjack down. Back this up with animals, the coniferous biome is a harsh and unforgiving environment. Only of the toughest and most resourceful animals can survive. Up here, there are no slow learners. The coniferous forest only receives an average of 14 to 30 inches of rainfall each year. Compared to other biomes, this amount is relatively low. There are two kinds of coniferous forest. Open, characterized by trees growing far apart with lichen growing between them, and closed, characterized by trees growing very close together and moss covering the floor. The coniferous biome covers Canada, Russia, Scandinavia, and even reaches down into the U.S. The coniferous forest is the largest terrestrial biome in the world, covering approximately 15% of Earth's land surface. Unfortunately, over 50% of the coniferous areas in Canada have already been allocated to logging companies. If this pattern continues, soon there won't be a coniferous biome. Man is the biggest enemy of the coniferous forest, its animals, and the planet as a whole. hundred years from now, there might not be any more moose, reindeer, squirrels, grizzly, or grizzly for that matter, which is probably a good thing. Unless we change now, everything we touch will be destroyed. vast biome that make up planet Earth. From its trees, to its pine cones, to its grizzlies, it is a stunning example of all the beauty nature has to offer. Unfortunately, industrial endeavors such as the Alaskan pipeline and coal mining threaten the very existence of the world's largest terrestrial biome. Please, if we work together, we can save this gorgeous place. Please, 
Get me out of here.